Hi, this is Isha. You're watching a video with JustTutors.com. In today's video, we'll be learning about volume of cubes and cuboids. In this lesson, first we'll work with introduction to the volume of shapes, and then we'll work with the volume of cubes and cuboids. Let's start our lesson with some warm-up questions. You can pause the video here to try these questions. In the first one, we are going to calculate the area of a trapezium. So we remember the formula as half. We times it by the sum of the parallel sides. So it is 5 add 9. And then we need to times it by the altitude which is given as 4. Calculating the answer to this, we will get 28 centimeter squared. And because we are calculating area, so the unit is squared. In the second one, we are finding the area of this quadrilateral. So you can look at this picture. Here, this is already like triangulation has already been done in this picture. So we'll directly work with the formula where the formula is half. Then we times it by the base of the triangles or we can sometimes call it like the diagonal of this quadrilateral. So it is given as 6 to us. And then we times them by the height of the triangle so it's 3 add 5 so if you are calculating the answer to this the answer will be 24 centimeter squared again if you have got the same answer it's really wonderful that you know how to calculate the area of trapezium and quadrilateral we are good to start with volumes now let's look at the introduction to volume Amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional object is called its volume. We use cubic units to find the volume of a solid. To find the volume of a solid, we need to divide it into cubical units. Like when we find the area, we need to divide the shape into square units. Here we are calculating volume, so we divide it into cubical units. Here are some conversions given to you. How to write 1 cubic centimeters. How you can convert this into millimeter cube. To work with 1 cubic meters and the corresponding centimeter cube. 1 cubic millimeter and the corresponding centimeter cube. You can pause the video here to have a good look at this. Let's start with the volume of a cuboid. Cuboid is a 3D object. It is having a length, a width and a height. As shown in this picture. To calculate the volume, we times length by width by height. This is written as L times W times by H. Now let's look at the volume of a cube. A cube has all edges of same length. To find the volume, let's look at the picture at first. Here this is S. So this length is S, width will be S and the height, the length, the width all are S. So when we times S by S by S, we get the volume of a cube. For example, if the length of any cube is 4 so the volume will be 4 times by 4 times by 4 in short we write it as s cube or sometimes x cube here are some practice questions for you you can pause the video here to try these questions and when you are done with the questions you can check your answers in the answer slide thank you for watching this video for more please visit justtutors.com